Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So today, we're gonna see what's in this tummy. This right here is a shark bite. Let's go ahead and see what's in here. Oh, oh, it's filling up. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another adventure in the hot summertime. Yes, summer's in full effect. As you can see, I'm sweating. It's hot. Now, today's video is something cool. I haven't done it in a while, a little catch and cook that we ended up, we're just gonna be cooking in this video, but we're gonna see what's inside of the fish I caught. Two monster African pompano. Yes, African pompano. Now guys, don't shame me, please. Have mercy, I'm sorry. I did not take the Slayers on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. I'm really sorry. It was just, hold on, I need some water. Now guys, forgive me, please. I just didn't think I was gonna go fishing that day. I wasn't recording, I was just taking the day and it turns out, we freaking slayed. So before talking about what we slayed with, let me just show you guys. Monster pompano. Oh yeah. Look at this thing. Woo. I'm gonna put I'm gonna go ahead and lay that right on the table. One, a two, a three. Yeah. Oh Ooh, yeah, slime. Mmm, yum. Delicious. Yummy, yummy in the tummy. But not only did I catch one, but I sleep too, which is, this is the bigger one. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. So we have one, we have not only one, but two massive African pompanos. Let me go ahead and show you right here. Look at the size of these massive fish that I went ahead and slayed with Lily and Papa Slam. It was out of this world. So today we're gonna see what's in this tummy. What's really interesting is, I really wish you saw it. Is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? There is a bite mark somewhere. Ugh. Oh, here it is. Right here, believe it or not, this right here is a shark bite. Yep, right here, a shark, when we we're fighting it, went ahead and actually chomped on this. That's why this is all ruined and torn up. Looked like a dusky shark, I'm not sure. Too bad I can't show you because I didn't record it and I know picture it didn't happen but what we do have is pictures of two massive African pompano personal best for me they're really really big so let me go ahead and get a bucket because we're gonna go ahead and have these for dinner today possibly even some sashimi with it or cook it I'm not sure we might be seeing wild where the Farley Zach catch them or we might not see them I know all I know is I got enough food to feed the family and the fish upstairs. All right, Slayer, so I got my bucket, and before we get down and dirty with these guys, I wanna go ahead and congratulate the winner of the Hidden Sticker Shout Out! Yeah! Wow, I really shouted you out. Congratulations to you because you went ahead and found those hidden stickers and answered the questions which are found at the end of the video correctly. Now, Slayers, if you wanna go ahead and get shouted out at the end of this video, there's not gonna be a single sticker in this video today. So, besides these stickers, which don't really count, be very attentive because I'm gonna ask three specific questions, and if you answer those correctly, you'll be shouted out at the beginning of the next video. So, without further ado, I'm gonna grab some ice for our meat. So throw that in there. One, a two, a three. Yeah. Nice little slate up ice. Be careful out there, slate. It's getting kind of wild. All right, cool. Leave that in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and probably put, which one you wanna start first with, Lily? The biggest one or the smallest one? Let's start with the smaller one. The smaller one it is. So we're gonna go ahead and put Big Bursa back. One, two, and the ice. Oh, Woo! we got a little dirty, but we're ready to go. We have here's a nice little ice bucket where we go ahead and put the meat and the contents of what we're gonna eat today in here. It's always good to make sure you have ice. You don't want your meat to get nice and warm. It's not nice when it's warm. So, to put that puppy here, and we're gonna start with this giant. Now, bear with me. This is the first time I've actually went ahead and filleted African pompano because it's the first time I caught African pompano. So what I wanna go ahead and do is check every little piece here to see where all the meat is. See if they're like mahi or anything of the sort. Hmm, they have little meat here. Ow, meat. And then this is the bone. All right, so. Let's see what we can do. I got several knives here. I got my trusty old, you know, grandfather knife that I have from years from my grandfather. And I have the Dankos if I need some heavy lifting. So, here we go. 
look for the meat looks like there's meat here so oh okay we just follow that line all the way around that works okay hmm not bad let's see if you guys want to come to this side we'll go ahead and learn how to fillet an African pompano together. So we're gonna check this out. Run along the backbone. Not bad, lots of meat here. So we're gonna go straight across. Alrighty, straight across there. And straight across back. Oh yeah, to the tail. All right, whew. Serious amounts of meat in here, but it's white. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's white. Skin looks kind of filmy, so we'll be able to take that off no problem. It's like mahi meat. I'm very excited to try this. Looks so good. I'm gonna fillet this half, and then once we get to the other half, we'll show you what's inside. The African Pompano. Well, Slayers, it's a slaughterhouse. As you can see, we went ahead and went into work. That's all the skin from our beautiful Pompanos. We have one. Yeah. And we have two. They're really light now, because we got a lot of meat off of them. And unfortunately, we did sacrifice some meat. But what's good about this meat is none of it's gonna go to waste. What I'm gonna do is actually take some bits and pieces like so, and I'll be taking it to feed our fish upstairs, like the arowana. Let's see whatever we can get some more meat. We just go ahead and go in here, get some more little tastes. Oh yeah, for the Tiger Chauvinos, for the Tiger Chauvinos hybrid. So I'm gonna be grabbing all the little spare pieces of meat right here, cutting them up nice and carefully. As you can see, feed Ninja, feed everybody. So that's gonna be a little later, but right now it's what we are doing today. We're looking inside of these big old predatory fish. Now this is all gut. So we're gonna have to try to get inside. So I'm gonna have to open it up. Here we go. Let's see what there is to see. All right, come on. We got the liver, we got everything. You know what? Let's see what else is in here. Let me get through without breaking my knife. Man, their gut is strong, real strong to protect those organs with the rib cages and everything. Anything in here? This is green bile and stuff. All right, I'm ripping it out. It looks full, feels full. Mm. Anything? Anything at all? Anything at all? In here? Hello? That's a heart, a sack, stomach. We're gonna go ahead and open this right now to see if anything's in here. That looks like I just cut into the heart. Oh wow. Look at that, guys. I know this could be a little graphic and everything, but that is the heart, as you can see. Wow, look at all the chambers of the heart and everything like that. But yeah, there's nothing here. Ooh, that's gross. All right, well, on that one, we did not see what's inside, but we see a really cool heart. So what we're gonna do is dispose of this properly. Goodbye, my friend. Into the cooler you go. Let me go ahead and wash that. <laughs> that was a little gross. <laughs> we're good. All right, Slayer, so fish numero dos. Time to see what there is to see at Miami Slay Aquarium. So we gotta have to do the same thing here, is open this puppy up. This is all gut meat, watch out. I'm just gonna flip that over. Cut that through, I apologize. And maybe there is something in here that we're looking for. Maybe our bait that we caught this with. So gotta go into this cavity. Ooh, nice and squishy. Oh, oh, it's filling up. Dude, this is crazy. There's so much stuff in here. It's wild. It's out of this world. Oh, 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 feels like there's something in here. We're opening her up right now. Oh my God. Look, it's our bait. It's the bait we use to catch it. Oh my gosh. There it is, guys. Our pilchard. That's what we used a live pilchard, and that is exactly what caught this monster beast, as you can see. 
So again, guys, viewer discretion is advised. I apologize that it's a kind of gory and everything, but it's the process of fishing if you're gonna go ahead and catch some fish and eat it yourself. So that's pretty insane that, that we saw our bait. Yeah, I'm sorry that you got spooked. Look where he hit it too, he hit it right in the back. Oh yeah, and that thing was slayed. Every piece of meat, like I was saying, will be used to feed our fish and our friend's fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. I'll see you at my mini monster fish tank. All right, Slayers, so here I am at the mini monster fish tank. Let's go ahead and feed our monsters with our catch. This is beautiful African pompadour, nice white meat, and they're ready to eat. So I'm gonna grab a little bit. I'm gonna open up right here. Oh, Pegasus, you ready? Oh, oh, Pegasus, go! Pegasus is hungry. Cosmo, come on, Cosmo. Gary, Paulo. Oh yeah, oh, everything is savage, Apollo is insane. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. My pets are doing good, come on. Oh, everyone is flared up, fired up, ready to go. You ready, Apollo? Ooh, nice. Here we go, one, a two, a three. Are you gonna get some more? No, Pegasus is full for now, but we have a couple pieces here. Cosmo got his piece, Cosmo's looking good. Hey, why are you guys all spooked? Chill out. Oh, Apollo got himself a little piece right there, boy. Get him. Oh, again? Oh, well, that was weird. You saw how he blinks his eyes out of that? That was kind of weird. But we're gonna grab a couple more pieces here. Throw it down the hatch. They always like to eat when no one's paying attention. Pegasus, don't get spooked. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, Apollo. You gotta grab some right here while I'm on camera for us. Boom. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. That's why I love catfish. All this meat will be gone soon enough, you'll see. So, let's go ahead and feed the man, the myth, the legend, Ninja. Oh yes, oh yes, you guys haven't seen him in a while. Here we have my beautiful water cow goby, my alien fish who is insane. Look at him, he is waiting to eat. He's ready, are you ready my friend? Are you ready? Don't you dare, are you ready? Here we go, I'm gonna give you a piece from above. Here you go, ready? Ooh, did you even get that? Bro, you got that, that was insane. You are a savage. Oh, you're ready for more, buddy? You're ready for more? Here, 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 come. Come on, take it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, 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 okay. You want one more, buddy? You want one more? Here, come on, right here. Oh, you missed, oh, come on. Don't worry, I have more pieces for you. Here you go. Take that. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Ninja. Woo! There is nothing like feeding your monster fish pets. Slayers, to go ahead and be shout out at the beginning of the next video, you need to answer the three following questions correctly right now. Question number one. What is the name of the fish we opened up today? Question number two. What did we find inside one of those fish? And... The third and final question, how many pieces of that fish did I feed my pet ninja? And with that being said, Slayers, I will see you guys in the next Slay Venture. Booyah.